gap appears to be narrowing in California governor's race. Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom still holds a lead over John Cox, but a new poll shows the margin has been cut in half. KPI X5 political reporter Melissa Kane is here to show us the numbers and what Cox had to say today during a Bay Area visit. Melissa? Yeah, the visit was a little unusual today. I have to say we caught up with Republican candidate John Cox in Fremont where he made a campaign stop at the DMV. And while that's not a place where candidates traditionally go to talk to voters, if you want a captive audience of frustrated people, that's actually exactly where to go. This vacation day, I could have went somewhere. It's a Friday. I could have went to a beach or something, you know. But no, I'm here at the DMV. Like everyone else in line at the Fremont DMV, Edmund Jacquez would rather be somewhere else. In fact, he says he's thinking of permanently moving somewhere else, Hawaii, where he says the cost of living is actually cheaper. I'm thinking, seriously thinking about moving there because I'm, I'm over this. Well, you know, wait until November 6th. Okay. Help is on the way. Help is on the way is the campaign slogan for Republican gubernatorial candidate John Cox. He's touring California now, meeting people where they are. And many are in line at the DMV. This is irresponsible and it's, it's just one more indignity suffered by Californians at the hand of a political class that doesn't care about them. He says the DMV is just one example of statewide mismanagement. Another example is the gas tax. Cox is spearheading the effort to repeal the tax on this November's ballot. Caltrans is a wasteful organization. It doesn't run very efficiently. And instead of reforming Caltrans, they raise the gas tax on millions of really struggling Californians. Of course, the fact that John Cox is also on the ballot can't hurt. Both the man and the proposition are aimed at the same voters. I'm doing this because the state is hurting and there's a lot of people that are struggling and I think people want change. And his laser focus on the cost of living seems to be working. A new poll by the Public Policy Institute of California shows Cox with 39 percent among likely voters. Gavin Newsom with 51 percent, 3 percent neither, and 7 percent don't know. And while it does show Newsom with a 12-point lead, Back in July, this same poll showed Newsom with a 24-point lead. So in this reliably blue state, don't count out John Cox. Just like his opponent, he's out there working to win one voter at a time. Now I'm going to definitely Google him and do some research because he seemed, that's awesome he came out. He didn't have to come out here, but I'm glad he did. That's good. Now, Election Day is November 6th, and while that may seem like far away, vote-by-mail ballots are going to be mailed out in just 10 days. So decision time is actually just right around the corner. Liz?